my god, disregard the whole hot stuff comment. Holy crap, I should have checked that first. Hey everybody, I'm Ezzy and welcome back to the next part of the Lunar Zodiac Challenge. So it's Friday uh, and I played a little bit off camera just to sort of get my household in order somewhat. Uh, but I also realized that, okay, so Tyra has completed her, she had to get like level four charisma. That's what we were doing in the last episode. So she got level four and now she needs to reach level six, but uh, she doesn't actually need to do that at all. I, I don't need to concentrate on that. I, what I need to do is get her 10 good friends. So I need to, does, does family count as good friends? Because if that's so, you know, we're like almost there. If that's the case, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So, oh my God. So if, if, if that's, if, if family actually counts as part of her 10 good friends, then we're done with her. And that was super easy. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So please let me know because it is not specific in the rules that I could find anywhere. It does not specifically say that you cannot have uh, your good friends as part of your family. So I am inclined to believe that family counts as being good friends. And if that's the case, then we're done with her and I can just move on and deal completely with Jupiter, who is now off to school, but who needs to get uh, like whatever level in wellness. We have to max out her wellness skills. So I kind of want to be done with it, honestly. But let me know if I'm if that's not right. And if family does not count, then I will obviously concentrate on making a bunch of new friends with Tyra. But I'm just unsure at this point because I did not watch all of Coffee coffee's videos um and the last time i checked her youtube channel all of her videos were gone so i don't even know anymore and i haven't checked like before i started filming this i didn't check so yes please let me know if you already know whether or not it counts okay so actually we've got a birthday coming oh god thank god it's nurse's birthday tomorrow then she can get out of this horrible toddler stage and we can move forward with her and basically life will be so much easier when she's not a toddler because then she can just do stuff and I don't have to constantly like make sure that she can get her fun up or that, you know, she, because she needs attention and stuff. So we're just going to have Phoebe come and spend just a little bit of time with her at the moment. Oh my God, Blossom came to visit. Hi, gorgeous. I wonder what's going on with her life right now. I wonder if she's seeing anyone. Oh, I hope she is. We'll become best friends with her. She is not in a good mood because she does not like thunderstorms either. Like nobody likes thunderstorms. We'll bring up an embarrassing childhood moment. We'll give her a compliment. I think after we're done just sort of chatting with her for a little bit, um, I'm going to take Phoebe out to Forgotten Hollow and we're going to go to the graveyard because we need to put down a couple more of those tombstones that we have sitting in our inventory. And then we're going to have her work on her painting because we need money and bills are, you know, going to be due like any minute. So we need money for that. All right. So this is the graveyard lot that I have. And I think this is by Brit Pinky Sims. I think I'll have to double check and I will let you know it's on the gallery anyway. And I think it was the highest rated, like the most popular graveyard under the graveyard tag, I think is where I got it from. Um, but I really, really like it. It's haunted, which I, I like a lot because then, you know, the ghosts sort of just wander around, which is good. Who is this? Oh, Brenda Holstad. Nurse has been sent off to daycare. I don't really know why she was sent off to daycare though, because her sister was there, but that's fine. That's fine indeed. All right. So who have we got? We've got Zoe. She was our next in line. So I'm just going to pop these down and then Bowie, my baby Bowie. We're going to build mode and just sort of line everything up here. We're going to have to move these shrubs out of the way. This long grass. There we go. I'll just fix up the terrain. Pop in a little bit of dirt down here like so. I'm gonna grab some table lilies again, just for a little bit of decoration, just so that they're not empty you know I like to have flowers on graves <laughs> I wish the vase didn't change color though I really wish it was just the flowers that would change the colors but it's okay there we go oh it looks so pretty and sad but also pretty <laughs> we don't have any more gravestones right I hope that's it okay so we're not we don't really have to stay here and mourn I just wanted to get all of the family um graveyards all taken care of so now we can just head straight back home again all right, so all the kids are home now and everybody is still... Oh, Jupiter's a B student. How did that happen? Tyra's still a C student. 
What is Silver though? Silver's still a C and her performance is still only okay. All right, so oh, who's this? De Devon or Tega? All right, let's, um, I guess let's invite them in and then we'll invite in this dude. Oh, he's just gonna come right in. All right, good on ya. Feel free. Honestly, <laughs> what are you gonna do, sir? I'll have a bath. Yeah, righto. Feel free. All good. I need actually, before I get focused on Jupiter, I need to focus a little bit on Silver. She needs to somehow get her performance up. And I, at this point, don't know how to do that because, um, who was the other kid? Um, Blossom, wasn't it? It was Blossom who constantly had really low performance and she ended up going down to a D student, even though, even though she always did her homework. So I am a little bit Concerned. I don't really know what's going on. Can we ask? Yes. Okay. So let's ask Blossom for help with our homework. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. So it says the best way to improve school performance is going to school with a positive emotion, completing your homework and maintaining high relationships with school mates. Okay. Do we have any schoolmates? I don't think we actually do. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we just need to make some friends. Oh, we've got a neighbor. Devon's our neighbor. Oh, nice. Okay. I guess. All right. So maybe that's what we should do then. Maybe we should invite over, let's invite over a couple of kids. We'll invite over Brad. Devin's already here. We'll invite over Gary and Clifton's our nephew. So probably not you. We'll invite over Emma and let's invite over one more, Cheryl. Let's see if we can get some girlfriends because we don't seem to have very many of those. So let's invite those guys over. And then maybe we can all go out to like bowling or something like I'm not really sure. I don't really know how to like maintain a friendship with all of these people. So we're going to send them off via the explore mod and see how we go with that. So that didn't raise her performance at all. Like not even a little bit. It's still in the orange and I need to get it up. So this is going to be interesting. Do we have? No. And we don't have another project to complete. So that's fine. All right. So Jupiter, uh, I'm actually going to have her come back downstairs and she can work on her wellness skills. So she's going to come and meditate. It might help with her sadness. Actually, I don't know. I don't know whether or not meditating actually helps them with their sadness and their feelings or emotions. So that'll be interesting to see. All right. All the kids are starting to arrive. She just invited the last one over. So they're all coming in, which is nice. Somebody's downstairs or sorry, down there having a temper tantrum. Who is that? I don't even know. Come on up. Get out of the rain, Cheryl Pleasant. Let's go ahead and explore attractions. We're gonna go, what did I say we were gonna do? We were gonna go to bowling? Yeah, bowling, all right. So we'll go with Devon, Cheryl, Gary. Well, we'll take Jordan, Emma. You know what, Blossom can probably come and Brad and Zaniah can come too. We have no relationship with our big sister Zaniah, so she can come too. All right, actually, no, I don't have Jupiter selected. Okay, so they can all go off together and hopefully have a really good time. Hopefully that will help them all bond and will ho hopefully help raise her um, her performance. Okay, what are you doing up here? You're embarrassed, you should be embarrassed. What are you doing? Let's brag about our handiness. He's like, hey, how's it going, hot stuff? Argue about house rules. Why would we need to argue about house rules? Oh, he's our son. Oh my God, he's our son. <gasps> oh. <laughs> God, disregard the whole hot stuff comment. Holy crap. I should have checked that first. I need to check these things before I just assume. All right. So their bowling skill has been acquired. So hopefully when they come home, I'll check her performance and see if it's increased any. I, I, I think I'm just grasping at straws here. It probably hasn't, but I guess we'll see. Where did you get cake from? What is that? Microwave pastry. Wow. Nice. Okay. That's good. Dude, I seriously don't even remember having you. You're a Trevidi, so you're Jupiter's brother. Radio. <laughs> I mean, you know, like they're all like related and everything, but you have the same dad as Jupiter. So interesting. Maybe we should ask him to leave because he, I don't know. It just, it feels weird having him in the house. He keeps like sort of hanging around his mum and smiling at her and everything. And she's like ignoring him. And it's kind of a little bit creepy. Maybe we should just try and get to know him a little bit. So maybe we'll, um, I mean, he clearly wants to get to know her, right? So let's tell him a joke. Um, we will, what else can we do? Let's ask him about his day. Hopefully he had a really good day. I love his little bow tie on his shirt. Like he's, he's got a very interesting fashion sense. We will ask about his crew. We'll find out if he is working. I mean, you never know. Some, some teens do. We'll boast about family. I don't know if that's a good idea or not though, because he's going to be like, well, you gave me up. So, I mean, can you really call yourself a family, a family woman? Oh my freaking God. Oh my God. We're going to lose her. We can't extinguish herself. What? Extinguish self. I have... I freaking have the sprinkler systems. Why is it not working? Oh my God. 
<gasps> oh my god, I nearly lost my baby. Oh yeah, go stand in the rain. Go stand in the rain. Oh my god. Oh my god. All the kids are returning home. Okay, good. So as soon as Silver gets home, we'll just check her um her performance. She's not home yet. Oh my god. All Jupiter was trying to do was oh now the freaking thing comes on. Oh my god. What a joke. What an absolute bloody joke. I could have lost my kid. There's no need for you to go on now. The fire's gone. Wait. There's another fire. Wait. What? Oh it it oh, it came back on fire. What's going on? My God, Tyra to the rescue. All the kids are just like, holy crap, like we could have all died, like no joke. All right, so let's try this thing again. Cause remember in the last episode when we had the fire in the kitchen, um, if we were just to sell this directly, we're gonna get $0 for it. So you can see that in the bottom right hand corner, we're gonna get $0 for this dryer if we try and sell it like this. But if we put it in our inventory, in our household inventory and then click on it, and sell it, we get 420 simoleons back. So we're gonna do the same thing. So the washing machine to sell directly would be zero simoleons, we'd get nothing back. So we're gonna put it in our inventory and then sell it. 400 simoleons, boom. Although, you know what, like thinking about it, I probably shouldn't have sold them because once they hit my household inventory, I probably could have just put them straight back. <laughs> Although I don't, I don't think any of them were upgraded. Like I don't, hang on. So let's put that in our inventory because the, the wall unit burnt down too. So if we take that and then we put it back. Oh no, it's still burnt. Okay, no problem. So we'll sell it. All right, so I guess we, I guess doing that's not a good idea. Like, I mean, putting it in your inventory and then trying to put it back into your house because it's not new anymore. So where's my washing machine? Okay, there we go. So that's good enough. Uh, I don't think we had any upgrades on anything actually. Oh God, now I'm lagged again after going in build buy. Oh, that's so frustrating. Maybe the lint thing wasn't cleaned. I really don't know. I thought it was though, but I guess not. Like the lint, the lint, the little lint trap wasn't cleaned out, I guess. Maybe that's what started the fire. But I'm kind of annoyed that it took so long for the sprinkler system to come on. Like I thought that was going to be fairly quick, like fairly soon after the fire broke out. So that's kind of annoying. I could have literally lost Jupiter. She could have died now that we've got that done. Uh, she is still pretty tired, but she's going to have some popcorn before she goes to bed. Standard, standard. Nerissa, how are you doing, honey? She's uh, hungry, and so she's just going to go around and wake up everybody. Jupiter didn't even have a shower after she got burnt almost to death. She was like, screw that. I'm just going to go to bed because I'm tired. My life is hell right now. We're going to have her go take a very quick shower. She can go downstairs, actually grab some food. We should also grab some food for our baby sis because otherwise she's going to die. Well, not really. She'll get taken away. She'll get taken from CPS because we're not feeding her. So she can come downstairs and have some soup. She's got food in her inventory. I really wonder where this kid gets all this food from. Like she always constantly leaves plates in her inventory. They just randomly show up. I don't know where she's finding this food. She must be taking it upstairs and stashing it somewhere because it's just randomly appearing in her inventory because I don't feed her. I mean, I do feed her, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. All right. Everyone is coming down to get some soup at midnight. Well, thank God it's Friday because tomorrow's Saturday, which means they don't have to go to school. So it's not like particularly crucial if they're in bed at a proper hour. Oh my God, Jordan is awake and like super angry. What is this? It says, never wake up a lazy sim. Never. Who woke you? Oh, probably Nerissa. That seems like something she would do. <laughs> she is such a tyrant. If she's having a bad day, she will wake up the entire damn house. Oh my God, Silver, what the hell are you doing? I'm gonna beat you within an inch of your life. What are you doing? Oh, I was gonna check her performance. It's still only okay. What about her friends? Do we have new friends yet? Okay, so she, she made some good friends while she was out bowling with them, so that's good. Um, and I'm happy about that, but the f this thing is, is worrying me. I'm concerned that she's not going to become an ace. At the moment, I'm actually concerned about her mortality, to be honest, like she's gonna die if this keeps happening. Stop it, you little crap head, quit. Now you can clean, don't you even think about going upstairs, my dear, get over here and clean that up. I don't know how to raise her performance. I guess we'll have to wait until Monday to see whether or not it goes up, I guess. And then we'll have to make sure that she goes to school with a positive emotion. Can we get one of these projects? School project, let's do a construct. No, we'll do a solar system, I guess, because that's the one I, oh no, hang on. What's that really ridiculous bridge? Oh, there's medieval castle. No, I don't want that. Where's it? Is this the bridge? This is the bridge, all right. We're gonna have her do the bridge and she can come and do it outside. <laughs> because maybe the bridge is what is going to raise her performance. I don't know, we're gonna try. I, I see a lot of people who make their kids do 
these projects and stuff. So I don't know whether or not that actually helps them with their performance. I think it does because I remember if the school gives them one, then it says, oh, you know, so-and-so has completed it early. It boosts their performance or something to that effect. So here's to hoping that it actually does exactly that. Oh, look at it. The girls are hanging out on the couch at 6.30 in the morning. What are you watching? Oh my God, what is that, the news? He's watching news. Sports. He's watching sports. Not my kids. Phoebe is back at it into the uh, home gym, working on her fitness. She is not feeling very well. Why are you not feeling well? What does that mean? I know you ain't pregnant because you haven't slept with anyone. She's feeling nauseous. She's fighting a battle of the belly and losing epically. Can she puke it up? Oh, she can. Let's have her go puke. Maybe that'll make her feel better. Get off that. There's no way she's pregnant because she ain't has, hasn't slept with anyone at all since... What's her dad's name? Clay. Brock. Since, since Brock. She hasn't slept with anyone. All right. How are you doing, Jupiter? All right. I think she's doing fine. She is going to go grab some food. We need to um, get her wellness up. So I want to have her go and do wellness. Oh, okay. I, I think I just need to finish recording right now because I have been talking literally for the last 30 minutes and I wasn't recording at all. Uh, and it was, I mean, nothing groundbreaking or anything like that it was basically just skill building so now that we've missed an entire 30 minutes i'm just going to show you i don't even know if i showed you the incense thing i don't know if that was recording at the time but um anyway i wanted to find out what uh emotion she needed to have uh when she was doing her meditating to get her skill up faster and it's focused and in order to get focused i just bought an incense burner and we are using the saffron sharpening saffron which gives the focused moodlet so that she can you know move along her wellness skill pretty fast and we're already at level four so that is she is just cruising along with that i am so happy so we have also phoebe just finished painting a masterpiece um silver has reached mental level six jordan has reached mental level three i actually have them outside at the moment doing projects because i was wondering whether or not if i had them do projects whether or not it would increase their performance and so far it hasn't like i'm struggling to get their performance up so uh i don't know whether or not i'm gonna have to wait until monday because silver's actually got i don't know if, see i don't know what i've shown you already but Silver's got a bunch of new friends now, like her classmates. She's friends with a bunch of her classmates from when they all went bowling, which is awesome. But that didn't get her performance up. So I guess she actually has to go to school in order for her performance to increase or decrease. But also too, they were you know, being very idle, particularly Jordan. And she was just getting paint and everything all over the floor. So you know how I feel about idle hands and children. But anyway, you guys, I think I am going to end this episode here. That's pretty much all that's happened. Um, Phoebe did paint a few things. So we have sold a few paintings. Obviously, she just painted her carrot masterpiece. So we'll sell that for 1600 simoleons. Really appreciate that. And she has taken care of her garden as well. So, I mean, it's just been a little bit of skill building. Um, and actually, before I go, I just wanted to ask you if you minded if I kind of just played off camera and then came back and gave like little updates or if you would rather that I continue to play on screen just let me know because I feel like at the moment everything's kind of boring because there's really nothing to do Nerissa is about to age up I think in like tomorrow in game she's about to age up oh god it's today I'm so freaking glad I checked that because we would have missed her birthday so she'll be aging up today I might as well do that right now actually we'll have Phoebe come and uh, make a cake um and you know then I'm pretty much like I don't have to do very much with her because she'll be able to take care of stuff on her own, you know, like she'll be able to take care of her own needs. So there's really not a whole lot left to really show. It's basically skill building and, you know, finishing off the, the goals and aspirations and things. So if you guys still want to see me do that, just let me know. And if not, it's no big deal. I'm happy to play off camera and then come and do an update. And then obviously we'll end out this whole series once um, the last kid has left the lot, which would be Nerissa. Um, so yeah, just, just let me know. Um, and obviously if that's the case, if you guys are just happy to see updates and not full on play, then the amount of videos that I post will be a lot less because I won't, I won't need to be recording as much. So yeah, just, just let me know. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I will chat with you all in the next one. Bye everybody.